My name is Neil Malik from Knack Training. In today's Everyday Office video, we're going to demonstrate how 3D references can simplify rolling up values from many different sheets. So the first part of this is that in order to use this technique, you have to have planned it out ahead of time. As you can see here, I have a tab called April of 2012 that has all of the April 2012 values on it and it has total sales right here in cell F2. Now, if I go over to the May 2012, you can see the exact same function in cell F2. And if I go to June 2012, you can see the exact same function once again in cell F2. The basic premise here is that, let's say that you were doing two years worth of reports. You might want to be able to add up all of the sales from all of the months as quickly and as simply as possible. With what's called a 3D reference, you can tell it, start at the April 2012 tab and go all the way through the June 2012 tab. And imagine yourself with many more tabs between these. And just say, always add cell F2 to the overall value. So to try this out, I'll go over here to the totals tab go here you can see it's just cell b5 so the position of the function that you're going to use this in doesn't matter i'll just do a quick sum function and now here's how you do a 3d reference you type in april 2012 the name of the first tab then a colon and then you name the last tab june of 2012 and then an exclamation point the exclamation point in your references means this is what the tab's name is. So it says, uh, for the tabs, you wanna go from April through June, and then just go to cell F2. Now you see how this had to be simple, simple, right? I told it to go to cell F2 on all the tabs, which means that I had to have planned it out and put it on cell F2 on all the tabs. Now I simply close parentheses, and we're all set. That is the grand total of all three tabs. Now, what would happen if I decided to add another tab here and I were to call this July of 2012? Well, as long as in cell F2, we had the value that we wanted to add up. even if that value was a zero, we'll be okay here. Okay, so here we have April through July of 2012. In order to integrate this, I'll need to go back to my original function and simply replace June of 2012 with July of 2012, which again, should get me April, May, June, and July of 2012 in one simple calculation. And I can see this if I switch from July 2000, on the July 2012 tab, if I switch it to, let's say, um, $500 million, right? So $500 million in cell F2, and I can see here that that integrates the $500 million into the overall value. Again, 683 million. If I go back here and I put zero as the total sales again in July, you can see that it's back to 183 million. And each one of these tabs is all integrated into the final result.